Welcome to our lecture online. Now here's our most interesting special series, special series number two, which is this one on the left right here, where it's the sum of one squared plus two squared plus three squared all the way up to n squared. And we want to get a general equation to calculate what that is equal to. Now we already saw in a previous video what it was, but now let's try to actually derive that equation. And it takes a little effort. We also need to remember that this sum right here, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all the way up to plus n, is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. And we've already shown you that in the previous video of how to derive that. So there's a mathematical trick in order to get this accomplished. And the first thing we want to do is do the following. We want to calculate, uh, let's see here, how about um, uh, n plus 1 cubed minus n cubed. Let's calculate that. You might wonder, why am I doing that? Well, stay, stay tuned and we'll see why. So this is equal to n cubed plus 3n squared plus 3n uh, plus 1, and then we subtract from that minus n cubed. So you see that this is equal to, this is subtracted here, so we end up with 3n squared plus 3n plus 1. Now we continue this trick. Now notice that if we have 2 squared, or not, not squared, but cubed, 2 cubed minus 1 cubed, that is equal to, so here you notice that in this case n is equal to 1, so that equals 3 times 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 1. Then if we write, uh, let's see the next one, 3 cubed minus 2 cubed, well, notice that in this case, n is equal to 2, so it gives us 3 times 2 squared plus 3 times 2 plus 1. And we continue like this, and notice what happens. Now we have 4 cubed minus 3 cubed is equal to, now here n would be equal to 3, so it would be 3 times 3 squared plus 3 times 3 plus 1. And then finally we end up with, n minus 1 cubed minus n minus 1 cubed let's see here that would be n minus 2 cubed n minus 2 cubed is equal to I think it's n minus 1 and n minus q well, let's see here actually I'm going to change that just a little bit because it's I'm gonna skip that's one step right here and do this one how about this one how about n cubed minus n minus 1 cubed is equal to now here you can see that this n this is n minus 1 because it's n plus 1 so n cubed would be n minus 1 cubed so that would be 3 times n minus 1 squared plus 3 times n minus 1 plus 1 and finally we have n plus 1 cubed minus n cubed and that would be equal to right here 3 n squared plus 3 n plus 1. Now, what if we add all those up? We're going to add up the left side and the right side of all those equations. Of course, there's a bunch of in between here that we can skip. But notice, here we have 2 cubed and we have a minus 2 cubed here. So this 2 cubed cancels out this 2 cubed. And this 3 cubed cancels out this 3 cubed. And this 4 cubed cancels out the next 4 cubed. And the n cubed cancels out the n cubed over here. And we're ending up with n plus 1 cubed minus 1 cubed is equal to the sum of everything on the right side. Okay, so on the left side we end up with n plus 1 cubed minus 1, because 1 cubed is 1, is equal to, now notice, we have 3 times 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared, all the way up to n squared. So this is 3 times the sum of all these terms, 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared, to n minus 1 squared, to n squared, which is in essence the sum that we're trying to solve. So this 3 times s2, the sum that we see right here. And then here notice we have 3 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 to n minus 1 plus n, that's the sum of these numbers right here, which is equal to s1. So we say plus 3 times s1, and then we have n times 1, so that's plus n. So the left side, n plus 1 cubed minus 1, is equal to this on the right side. And essentially, we want to solve for s2. That's the key. 
All right. The next thing we can do is replace S1 by what S1 is equal to. So here we can say that we have, um, well, I'm going to move everything over to one side. Let's do that first. So we have n plus 1 cubed minus 1 minus 3s1 minus n is equal to 3s2. Remember, we're trying to solve for s2. Okay, so let's plug in what S1 is equal to and let's work out this right here. And let's divide everything by 3. Well, we'll do that later. Okay, so n plus 1 cubed, so we have n cubed plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1. That's a binomial expansion of this. Minus 1. Minus 3 times S1 and S1 is equal to this. So that would be n times n plus 1 divided by 2 and then we still have the minus n at the end minus n and that's equal to 3s2 we can simplify things a little bit more because we have let's see here hmm 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 hmm, hmm. okay well let's continue on I was hoping, well, anyway, these two cancel out, that, that's something. There we go. And we have a 3n minus n, that becomes 2n. So let's come over here. Let's continue over here. And so we end up with n squared, or n cubed, plus 3n squared, plus 3n minus n, that makes it plus 2n. Now we can multiply this out, so we have minus 3n times n, that's minus 3n squared. But we have divided by 2. And then we have minus 3n plus 1, that's minus 3n divided by 2. And that equals, and the minus n we took care of already, and that equals 3 times s2. And remember, we're trying to solve for s2. We can divide everything by 3 to get rid of the 3. So I guess divided by 3, divided by 3, divided by 3. So this becomes divided by 6, this becomes divided by 6, and the 3 is gone. So now we just have S2 isolated all by itself. So now we want the common denominator of 6. So that means that this becomes 2n cubed divided by 6. Or maybe just we'll put it all over a common denominator. That might be cleaner, so divide by 6. Here we need plus 6n squared divided by 6. Here we have plus 6n divided by 6. Here we have minus 3n squared divided by 6 and minus 3n, and all that equals s2. It's beginning to look a little bit better. Combining like terms, we have 2n cubed plus 6n squared minus 3n squared, that would be plus 3n squared plus 6n minus 3n, which is plus 3n, and the whole thing divided by 6 equals s2. So now I'm going to turn the equation around. I have s2 is equal to, and I'm going to factor out an n, that would be n times 2n plus 3, or 2n squared plus 3n plus 3, like this. Is that correct? Do I have that correct? n times n. Okay, I think so far so good. Uh, yeah, do you have to divide by 6? But I'm wondering about this 3 right here. I'm wondering about that 3. We have a 2n. Ah, something is wrong here. I made a mistake. Because if I go from a denominator 3 to denominator 6, the 2, because it's a 2n, becomes a 4n over here. 4n. And 4n minus 3n is a single n. And a single n becomes, this becomes 1. There we go. So I made a mistake. Got to be very careful. Because if I didn't have a 1 there, I wouldn't be able to factor it. And that would be a problem. But now I can clean this up a little bit more. I can now say that S2 is equal to n times. And this can be factored into n plus 1 times 2n plus 1, all divided by 6. Now notice if I multiply this out, I get n times 2n is 2n squared n times 1 plus 2n times 1 gives me 3n, and 1 times 1 gives me 1. And this 
is ultimately the equation I was looking for. This summation right here, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is S2, is right here, cannot be written in this format, which we've shown you before, we just didn't show you how to derive that equation. So now, presuming we don't make any mistakes like that, you come up with the equation, and now, of course, you can do the partial sum for this summation to any value for n. And that was what we're trying to accomplish. Here it is, the famous series number two. So now we have the famous series number one and the famous series number two. And for both of them, we now have handy-dandy equations that allow us to solve for any partial sum for those two special series. And that is how they were derived. Well, it wasn't me. <laughs> I had to cheat a little bit. I had to go back and get a few hints and go, oh, now it makes sense. There it is. Because that's not easy to come up with. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful technique.